Hello you boys and girls, my name is HotCC and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Last time we finally managed to get our hydrogen rocket with enough fuel and capability to actually fuel this up. And today we want to go out and grab grab us some uh, gas grass uh, because that's one of the plants that we are still missing and for that we need to switch out the uh, cargo bay uh, with uh, with uh, what's what's it call it uh, bio matter biological cargo bay that's what's it what it is called um, so let's do that, plop that in here, and then um, we get that from out here, uh, gas, grass, seed, uh, as well as, as gassy moo. Uh, not sure what we will do with the, with the gassy moo, but we get it. And we need 706. Uh, kilograms of hydrogen and the same amount of oxygen so uh, let's fill in the uh, oxygen and then there for the for the hydrogen we need to connect these two pieces together. And I think we can turn this off. Yeah, let's snap the pipe there. So if this part breaks, it's fixed, and uh, no, no new hydrogen is is filled up. And getting the gas grass, that's a one part of the story. The other thing is we need to plant it. So let's see what we have here requirement like. Liquid chlorine um, gets a bit hard to, to get. We do have a chlorine vent, but we would need to cool it down so it gets liquid. Uh, also, um, uh, uh, dirt. And we need quite a bit of... Uh, of light level so the last time i did this uh, was with uh, with some some lamps but i'm i'm thinking that if our doors are not closed here uh, we would get light levels high enough so maybe it's time to set this part over here up so we can have uh, our our farm um, down here on this side does not need to be all that big but our rocket is complete so let's open the doors and then we can uh, start the rocket and wait for its return and while we wait uh, of course um, we will try to uh, to finish this part up here we need cooling but uh, I did learn something here we have um, 
uh, a back wall, um, what's it called? A dry wall with, uh, with um, a liquid on top of it and cool it that way. But you can also do it with a conduction panel. Um, and I think that's, that's the way to go. And if we have this redirected that way, that means it comes back in this direction, right? So let's send the rocket on its way. And we will figure out everything else. The rocket has returned, but we are not quite there yet with our other um, things. Um, so this Arlington rocket, it's a bit, burns a bit hotter. That's why we get more damage down here. Uh, here on the side, I have set up uh, more power production so we can power the doors and uh, Robo Minus, uh, the duplicates are still in the process of connecting everything up. But I also planned out uh, the uh, extension of the tube uh, up to here, similar to what we have on, on this side, and it will go through here, but there are still bits and pieces that we have not yet in place. So then how do we want to uh, to deal with with this farm after the safe obviously um, we need a lot of light. We also need well temperatures are not that um, does not that matter that much um, and as we are growing them wild we don't care for dirt and liquid um, however um, to plant them we need some pips um, and the pips they have a livable range minus 30 to 100 and preferably also not vacuum. So if we look at the temperatures, it's way too cold for that. And uh, we will do this a bit differently this time. Uh, if we have door on this side this is basically then where our plants will grow meaning we will have normal tiles in between here and we will have a bit of drywall going there and then we need window tiles here on top for the light level and then here side we can actually no for now we will have it like this and we also need to have uh, something where we can plant or naturally plant the uh, green grass there so
let's lock everything up for now. Um, we want to have container there. We need a creature drop off here for the pips. And then we need some atmosphere going. So let's add this here. And we will connect up to there. And we need a bit more temperature in here. So there. And once that's built up, we will see how we get natural blocks where we have the hydrophonic tiles so the uh, the pips can then actually plant something there but for now the duplicants have quite a bit to do until we are ready now here is the setup we have this farm with the, the farm tiles spread out but we need to have some not farm tiles in there but some uh, natural um, block that the pips can plant on and the trick we are using here is where is it in refinement yeah we'll use a glass forge and then that has a liquid output uh, output is here we will add that to this one then we'll put out the glass into the tiles. Then we can break the tiles and we have glass blocks. Not like this, but solidified glass uh, on these tiles. And on those, the pips can actually plant. Um, probably here. Also want to have a block like this, so this is this this works. And then we have the temperature set here to 25 degrees. And currently we have a tiny bit of gas in here. We don't want to have much gas because uh, the gas that we have in here is pretty hot, but uh, you can see as soon as we uh, uh, pump in more gas the temperatures will drop and if we have a tiny bit of gas in there that's easier to heat up than if we have uh, large amounts and we will we'll observe this and basically as soon as uh, this okay we are reaching quite some level here i think not quite one kilo per tile that's that's good uh, and yeah every time we open this door some will evaporate um, but 
that's not that difficult. So let's create some molten glass. Um, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Um, nine times four, that's 45. I hope this this works out um, and uh, we will soon see so um, once we uh, break these tons we can then uh, drop off the the pips in here and also fetch the uh, the seeds that we have in here uh, we need a gantry to, uh, to get those in but currently they're quite happy being in there, so they are out of the way. And we can see this is working, maybe it would be better to have insulated pipe there. I'm not sure how much we, we need in here. We have five kilograms. Um, but we will we will fill all these tiles up with uh, with glass uh, and then we can we can break them. We have a pip in here, we have the seeds in here, so now we can also uh, go ahead break these. I already broke that one and at least so far so good. Uh, this one as well and then this ladder so we can plant or the pip can plant the first one here and maybe we will add a bit more uh, oxygen because uh, a lot of, of the uh, atmosphere is escaping through uh, uh, opening and, and closing of the door And then we probably want to disconnect this, taking care of not connect disconnecting anything else. Um, so we can deconstruct this one. We don't need that one. And Pip should soon decide to to plant the, the gas grass there and then we can let this grow and have a nice farm here all the grass is planted and if there is light from above it will also grow I also replaced all the solid blocks with airflow tiles, so we have better airflow uh, from this area where we pipe out uh, excess gas into uh, the open space. And also because if we uh, wrangle these two and put them in here, they will produce uh, natural gas, which I am not that fussed about collecting. So we want to uh, uh, get rid of that also into, into outer space. And with that, we have another farm um, done. So uh, uh, let's fast forward a bit until uh, these are grown uh, and we have our uh, gassy moose in there. 
at least one is fully grown. Uh, the others, they grow slowly or are cut back down uh, because our moose are grazing on them. But from the background here you can see there is natural gas, not much, because it's all vented out into, into space. But with that we can check this farm off as well. And next time we will tackle the last one. Until then, goodbye.